Hey up, it's the stream team, dream team. Well, they've kept us back for final, Mark, I think, and that's fair enough, you know. We've got the big boys for the final. Correct. Which is fair enough. Looking forward to it, should be a good one. There's a, there's a fear, really, that Mick Hill, in his mind, might have already played his final. <laughs> Tell me that. Beating Jack Wheel and 8-0. Well, but there's only uh, an £80 difference between first and second prize. <laughs> there's, um, there's absolutely no doubt about it. This is being played... There you can see the trophy. We're just going to have some photos taken. Look at that table. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? <laughs> Gary's getting the players to do it on the table as yeah, well. Gary, it, dear yeah. me. Just press up that sharp, you don't leak through that table. Yeah. Cause I was talking to um, I was talking to Connor. Uh, oh, 9697, have you not just seen what he's done to Jack? Um, yeah, Connor just said, uh, I, I'm not too sure really what I need to do. He said, I can't play a tactical game against him, he'll destroy me. <laughs> he said, I, yeah. I just, I've got to break and dish every time I break, and I've got to hope that he dry breaks so I can dish. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm losing. <laughs> I think he's just got to go out and play the table, aren't they? I know it's an old cliche, but you, you, you try and forget who's in the opposite corner, take, take and you. Off. <laughs> yeah, are we leaving the trophy on? <laughs> yeah, you've got to play around the trophy. <laughs> oh, no, we are. We're leaving. No, we're, no, we're no, we're just getting some more photos. More photos, eh? Crikey. Yeah, he's just got to play the table, hasn't he? You, you can't afford to, to, to play with a player who's sat in the chair. you just got to play what's in front of you. Hope for the best. Yeah, he, he just said, oh, forget it. I'm just going to get on and beat him. End of. Absolutely. That's a great attitude to have. He's lost the lag. Sean Mikkel has lost games of pool before, you know. Of course he has. He's so, uh, um, but he's just destroyed Jack there, hasn't he? I mean, that's Jack Whelan. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that's the IPA world champion. World champion, folks. Um, right, well, we'll take all this clutter uh, off your screen, ladies and gents. Sit down, relax, and we'll... Uh, Mark and I will take you through the first few frames here. Yes, is his name. Well, uh, that's the break that means business. That's uh, that's one nil, Lammy. <laughs> you might as well chalk. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well chalk that up now. What a ridiculous break that is. Here's Danny. Danny with the beers. I'll tell you what, it's only quarter past nine as well. <laughs> yeah, that's me, mate. They're, They're both purple. They're both purple. Aren't they? That's right. Cheers. So mix reds and um, I can assure you that. Uh, so uh, I can assure you, I've been watching Connor. Uh, he destroyed Jordan Shepherd seven one in about a half hour on the yeah, first game yep. or second game on the stream. Um, <laughs> And he, he's won his matches within half hour. I mean, his, his semi-final was 8-7. Uh, he, he was 7-4 up and had a massive kick on the black. Yeah, so I like um, him. He, he, he plays some very fluent pool, Mark. He, he, you know, he certainly is. knows what he's doing. And I think I said to Daz, meaning absolutely no disrespect, when we were looking through the list of players at the start of this event, he Connor wasn't Jones on the radar, wasn't, wasn't was no, he? was well under the radar. He was but, just saying uh, there, he's had a couple of money matches and won them both. He's, he, he's starting to, you know, he's... He's starting to make a bit of a name for himself, so he'll be seen as a bit of an unknown. And he, he was a bit fearful that people might have thought he's he's been lucky to get to where he has. But uh, nice we'll play, post man. all the results at, uh, at the end of the evening, and you'll see who he's beaten to get there. He's uh, he's certainly not there by luck. He's he's there absolutely on merit. He's played very well indeed, um, and uh, he he will. You know, he'll give. I'm, I'm confident he'll give Mick a bit of a run for his money here, but um, he's going to be one nil down. Well, oh, Mick, where are you going? You're a bit out of position there. Dear me, he's an inch out of position, Lammy. Diabolical. Oh, he's managed to drag it back, though. So, 1-0 oh, to Mick. Break dish. Break so. dish. So, uh, Connor will be hoping to uh, to do the same back to him. Steve's the man. Can you do the interview? I can do the interview. 
it's hard getting them to do it. <laughs> it's just like... Get them over to this team. <coughs> oh, well, Lama should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come forward to this one. Oh, good. Good set of both. Well, it's a big break, and it's a good break. It's a good break from Connor. Um, he needs to set yellows if he's going game, I think. Based yeah, he's on got the yellow and yeah. the black, because he, he can develop them. <laughs> yeah, he's going yellows, Mark. I, uh, as you say, he's obviously got one tricky yellow over one near the black, but he should have an opportunity to develop that. Absolutely. Probably play the yellow in the middle of the table long. Um, or drop this in the middle. Well, he's not got the angle there, so he'll probably take the yellow now to the bottom right as we look at the table. Just try and leave himself an angle on that yellow over the middle to get into his bad ball. Yep. Certainly queuing nicely. He's getting these all day long earlier. When you when you play McKill, it, it, <laughs> it's a different kind of twitch. Fish, so chicken wing comes out a little bit. You you definitely get the odd twitch when uh, when Mick sat looking at you from the chair. Yeah, I had a bit of a twinge when I was watching him. Mate. It was just <laughs> too good. There's nothing. He's played it well. Good shot. There's nothing to say on another day, but Jack Whelan couldn't do that to Mick. It, you know, he he could quite easily run eight frames in a row against Mick. But uh, today it was just just a Mick Hill show. However, it's looking like Connor Jones should bring this one back level. He's queuing it confidently enough. Yeah, he, he means business, this lad. He, he's sort of not, not feared in any way. Earth to Daz. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's overrun that one a little bit, Mark. Yes. Interesting to see if a yellow passes to the middle. I don't think it does, no, so he's, he's, he's got work long. to do. He's playing it long. He's going to go off the side rail. And he's going to play the long black into the big bag. Big bag at the top, yep. Otherwise, he's going to sit down and go 2-0 behind. Yeah. I think that was his intention all along, to play the black into that big bag up there. I'm not so sure. You won't, you won't, he's, you won't he's leave it by choice, but... No, it's just up by street. Try to invent a pocket there, sir. Invent a pocket there, and you've got to think that this is very probably 2 0. Well, a rare safety there for Mick, and I'm not I'm not sure he's not left that, actually. My eyes are brilliant, they ain't what we used to be. Oh, left it, I think it's a snooker. It's not on. Jack Whelan, table six for the third, fourth place playoff, please. <laughs> well, that's quite a game. Jack Whelan, Mark Shepherd, that's just the third, fourth place playoff. Yeah, indeed. Been a, a great day's pool. 
Oh, I'd venture to suggest it's been the, 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 the best one yet, really. Yeah, without a doubt. It's been really good. It's been so well received by the players. They've all loved it. You know, and even though, it, even though it's single elimination, which is difficult for players, you know, because if you go out early, it's hard to take. But they've all been really complimentary. That's a good shot for Mick to uh, develop the black. So long as he can see the top red into the middle, he's fine. Yeah, it's uh, Mary Poppins for this lad. Well, he's just, uh, just got up from the table, he looks... Got a bit of a wry look on his face. He always does. He's a miserable <laughs> get. I'll tell you what, I'll just send it around the table as well, just to rub it in. <laughs> yeah, that was almost one for the. Uh, one for, you don't see him play many shots like that, do you? He doesn't normally need to. Uh, Lakin's money match Martin, I don't know. I think they were only playing for 50 quid, so if you're one of his regular quid, backers. I think did you ask me? I've said seven, but whatever you want to play. Whatever you guys want to play. 2-0 Mick. 2-0 Mick, and it's... Uh, mm, Connor made a mistake, and he got punished, and that will be the story of this match. If he makes mistakes, Mick will punish him. It'll be interesting to look through the draw, see how many frames Mick's actually dropped. <laughs> I think maybe seven or eight. Uh, the prize money, uh, Billy, uh, it's about twelve hundred pounds, so it's five hundred a winner, three hundred and twenty for a runner-up. Runner-up, third uh, place is one fifty, fourth one ten, and the quarter-finalists got fifty quid each. There you go. How's about that then? I would doubt very much that we're splitting the pot here. <laughs> <laughs> Connor did say to me, he said, uh, what do you reckon the chances are that, uh, that whoever I play in final will split pot? I said, uh, slim. Minimal. He said, slim minimal. to <laughs> He's a good lad, he's got a good, good sense of humour. Uh... Look at that break. <laughs> Dear me. 3 nil. chalk it up, let's move on. He rarely plays any shots where you think, wow. Now, we, we, we had this discussion earlier, the difference He between played a couple, didn't he, in one of his earlier games. I think the first match he was on the stream where he was up and down tables and yeah. little nudges to get perfect position and this, that and the other. But he, he kind of makes every... He, you know, you look at that and you think, well, I can pop that. He's capable of doing the things that he is. does. He's capable Without of fizzing it around the table with a load of side and... and but it, 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 he chooses not to, you know. I think Chris is more of a, a sure. flamboyant sort yeah. of entertainer, and he loves doing it. He loves people sort of gasping at the Absolutely. ridiculous amount of side he gets on the ball, etc., etc. Whereas Mick just plods along and does this, does more, exactly more this. Not, 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 not uh, yeah, plays the game. He makes it look a little bit more simple. We we had a discussion, Mark, just before you came on commentary, um, that you know if there's one player you could pick to break and dish with somebody with a gun at your head to save your life, it's probably Mikel who you pick. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's been debates all day, but I've just been overhearing that I've been taking part uh, really in, in Mikel or Gareth Potts and. No, not for, for me, me. Not even a uh, discussion. Different eras, and and you know, with the utmost respect to Gaz, Gaz Potts, it's uh, he's not my kill. You know, had, had Darren Appleton continued playing this game, which he was never going to do, but had he done it, then you would have had an argument there. I think. Yeah, I think. But yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah. Melling, of course, he's he's just. We absolutely love him a bit. He's sensational. But, but even, even Melling will say that Mick's the best player yeah, ever. Yeah, I think he has done many times. You know, there's not many of the of the great, you know, of the of that like that that would say anything different. Darren is is you know his his determination and his uh, will to win, and Darren's by far one of the best money players I've ever seen. Um, he just has different qualities, doesn't he? I mean, yeah, Darren's yeah. mental strength is, 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 is unreal. Is. 
probably better than Mix, but I Mix, think it's because Mix yeah, Darren's, such a cuist. Darren enjoys you know, enjoyed the sport more, more than what Mick does, I think. You know, it's a way for Mick to make money rather than something that he really truly enjoys doing. It's a business for Mick. Yeah. I mean, it is his. You know, it, it's his career. Yeah. So um, you know, he, he probably has a bit of extra pressure as well from doing that. Of course, yeah. But um, yeah, you know, he's, he's he's all over the world, isn't he, with his exhibitions? Yeah. He goes to comps in Australia, and you know, it, it was great when uh, Mick and John uh, purchased Morley. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's great for the game, moving the game forward. You know, another great venue and another great venue here in Leeds, which is fantastic. Keeps us all on his toes. Oh, absolutely. But a very friendly rivalry. Well, I'll make yeah, supportive, be here, supportive would he? Yeah, he wouldn't be here playing, well, would he? He wouldn't be a supporting this event. If we, well, a few of us were over at um, Morley when they they had their uh, when Yannick played uh, Clint yep. in yep. the world's slowest money match. And, <laughs> uh, Melin and Daz were there, obviously. Mick called in a, a few favours. That was a good night. Yeah. Leanne commenting, yeah, nice to hear on the dream team. The you dream know team it, kid. On the stream team, you know it. We'll have, uh, unfortunately, uh, we'll have Dylan Duller on for a bit after so this stream, I think. I think we said we're going to do four frame stints. So, um, but if if we do, we'll come back when we might we might stay on for you folks and give you a bit of a treat. Well, I, I was talking to Daz and he just walked off mid conversation, so we probably won't even. <laughs> <laughs> probably won't even. Uh, he, he never Realized. ever puts the colours on. It's like Daz every time. Daz, Daz, colours. Daz, colours. Daz, colours. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll hear when we're uh, commentating with Daz, and if he's in the driving seat, we'll uh, we'll quite often say, "All oh, right, so so mix on red then." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's our little kind of code word for each yeah. other, and uh, you'll hear it a lot when uh, when Daz is driving. He doesn't mm. normally drive, to be fair. Phil Phil's the driver, and he's the co-commentator. Yeah. And, Likewise with us, you're usually driving. And so tonight, yeah, I've had a few. I've had a few. You're only on the. Uh, oops! Oh, oh well, he nearly missed, missed the ball. Then thought he missed his. We were ball. just on the phone to Reuters. Mick Specs Hill misses his ball. But uh, no, it's dropped in, and Connor will be kicking himself a little bit. He had a guilt edge chance there to to get yeah, it, get on the board, and he just snooked himself on the last yellow. Had to play it with a bit of swerve. He's played a good shot, but he's just not dropped. Look at that for queuing. For you, isn't it? Boom. He's How many uh, other players that have been playing that into the middle? And he, play, he played one earlier where I was saying, well, he's going to have to go in and out of bark with a load of side and oh, this, that, yeah, and the other. Yeah. And he just smashed it in the top bag instead. Yeah. He's now going to use the yellow. Yes. To, <laughs> well, he won't actually need that bag. He'll probably, <laughs> probably play it in the end, but... And he does use a yellow. You're welcome. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have that uh, conversation on there. No. Not when there's 346 people watching. Does he just drop this in? Does he go in and out of bark? He can do what he wants. He <laughs> can <laughs> do what he wants. But yeah, he'll put white behind the yellow, he'll still find a way. <laughs> so he has gone in and out of bark. Yeah, I'd have just dropped it in. I'll give him some tips later. Yeah, you know. I'm sure when he watches the video back. I don't well, think he'll be watching it back. But it's, uh, he will be doing. He'll be listening for some tips from us oh, to well. see what he should have done. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Connor really had to get into his game early. It's uh, it's, it's a difficult mountain to climb against anyone. You could argue he's had nine. two half chances. Yeah, he has. But um, you have to take your chances against Mick or you, you are going to get buried. I noticed Jack's already been on Facebook saying uh, absolutely uh, outplayed by uh, by Mick. He made some schoolboy errors, blah, 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 8-0. Uh, that's why he's the best in the world. Really? Yeah. Well, coming from Jack, that's... Uh, that is a compliment indeed. Yeah. But he needs to break better, Lammy, because he smashed them all over, but he's not got any balls. 
So, another chance for Connor to get a little bit of a foothold in this match, and really, you've got to think that he's, he's got to be taking these out. He was getting these without even blinking. I'd have stunned that in and played the yellow into the corner. You know, could come back to want him there. Yeah, Bruce on the chat says Mick making this look so easy. It's annoying, isn't it, Bruce? You know, when you, <laughs> when you, you know, sort of our standard, um, you know, maybe average interleague standard, watching, watching Mick play like this and making it look so easy. I, I get a bit annoyed at times. I just think, wow. He never pots a ball that you can't pot. Exactly. So, um, yeah, he's okay there. So he's going to be he's leaving the, the ball down the rail as his penultimate ball, I think. Does he play this off the red? No, I think play, play it in the but middle and, and take the yellow to the, the opposite middle. Force an angle. And then uh, ball down the rail, ball over the bag, back out for the black. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. It's alright sitting here and saying it. He's out there having to do it. Well, this is the, the uh, this is the game ball. How oh, big's your telly, as JC would say? <laughs> no, he's hit the cushion oh, straight away there. He's, you know, it's it's understandable when you play Mikkel, your shoulders are going to tensen up. Tensen. Is that, have I made a word up there? You've made, you have made a word that's, up there. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to call, call the director of communications <laughs> on his communication. No. All you credit to the Bulmers. <laughs> Your shoulders are going to tense up. <laughs> Tenson. <laughs> Tenson. You're not the guy who climbed Everest. I'll just show up. <laughs> Please. It's a clever shot, isn't it? Check the bag. He's Look at this. Over. He's 4-0 up in the final. Uh, and he's playing the right shot every time. He, he yeah, colours colours were saying on the chat while me. Come yes. on. Fuck, bloody hell, there's me. Oh. There's me. <laughs> Apologies, there. ladies and gentlemen. No, no, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't if, quite if you, a, if you had a cuss there on the... Uh, that was me cold or sneezing. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolute... Uh, Donna Hebron. I've done a headbrain. Oh, I tell you what. Great shot. And he's got the cross one. double now. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll feel a lot better about things if he uh, if he manages this back double and gets on the black. Yeah, you can't, you can't be thinking too much of position. You just need to get the, the cross double. No, forget about the white. you you just got to be hopeful that you, you get good. He's missed that. He's missed it. Come for trouble. Well... This is all looking a bit too easy for Mick at the moment. Not to say Connor's not a very talented lad and he can, if he can find it, he can drag himself back into it, but... Too much to do here. He's not playing Charlie Chopper, is he? He's playing Mick Hill. Making, making enough mistakes for him to get back into this game, I'm afraid. Bucky, I... Uh I can't wait to read your write-up at the end of this. I look forward to it. It's, uh, I just hope that it can reflect and illustrate the excitement that we've had throughout the day. It's been uh, it's been absolutely tremendous. Loved it. Who's who of pool? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but all I have to say it. I'm a little bit overwhelmed with it all. It's just been phenomenal. But it's 5 0, and here come Dull and Dollar. He's not got the black yet, I mean, he could miss this. It's missable. Fair enough. Oh, no, no, he's got it. It's 5 0. It's five nil. Let's hand over. 5 0, and uh, Daz and Phil are going to uh, take over in the commentary booth. Sweet to so, see you. So uh, enjoy the next few. Let's see if Connor can get himself back into the game. And now I'm ready as well, please.
so the dream team are back now never mind the the, uh, the, the quality's back on now Phil Phil Billy Daz everyone's going to see you out now to the end of the game oh come on Daz what a partnership yeah. never mind the cream team we'll guess it's the yeah. dream team <laughs> Paul Camplin's saying they're all have a go everybody has a go at me I cannot believe Paul Camplin is still awake yeah is he that, that <laughs> I look somebody must have forgot the colours again Who's done that? Who oh, forgot colours? I don't know. It must have been one of them two. <laughs> you saying that? Does I haven't even sat down? Yeah, we haven't got. You know, to be fair, Phil, you wanted to got no, to the table. Uh, got to the uh, thing, and he's nearly, he's nearly, uh, he's nearly get, wrapped it up. I'm trying to get the mouse going. Are we, is Mick on red? Seb's asking if anybody can confirm if anybody took Mick close today. <laughs> uh, I'll have a look at that one and see. Uh, I don't know what, what is worth score. What it is, Mick? Just give me a minute. <laughs> Daz is just going to check the old uh, spreadsheet. See if anyone did. Can you hear me, Phil? I can, mate. Right. I'll give you mixed results. There we go. Mick Hill, first round, Matty Parker, 7 1 to Mick. Round two, Anton Edwards, 7 2 to Mick. Third round, Kev Barton, 7 0 to Mick. Uh, quarter finals, Cy Phillips, what was that? That was 7 2 or something like that. That was a 2, wasn't it? Uh, so, to be fair, yeah, nobody's took Mick anywhere near today. Well, we're not saying all. close, are we, even if it was 2 or 3? Yeah, I think the best. best Somebody's got from his two point two two frames. So no, nobody's uh, took him anywhere near today. Well, look, at, uh, look at this now. It's been superb. He really has. He's yeah. <laughs> the way the form is in. That I mean, that yellow slides past that uh, that black. I'm just going to check. Oh, it doesn't. You know, he's going to have to. He's going to have to. Doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? We make at moment. Phil, I've lost my beer. Oh, is it what? up there? Can you no, that's it? mine, mate, is that? No, the Bulmers. You'll just drink anything you does. That's red wine. <laughs> uh, oh, it's... It's uh, a pleasure yeah, so to watch. <laughs> but he is, he is relentless. He's, uh, <laughs> he's making just... He's been so clinical today, though. He's, he's, he's been on a mission. He's definitely what, come... What I like about Mick is he very rarely... You know, lashes the ball, does it? He? he doesn't want the spin. He doesn't want the, you know, the 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 flare shots. He just does what he has to do. But he does it very, very well. Andrew Baker can ask him what was the final uh, semi-final score against Jack. It was eight nil. Was it? Did he win? Jack, yeah, eight nil. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's Jack Whelan. Yeah, eight nil. That's a lovely angle, Daz. Look at that for an angle. Paul Campbell said if he had a buffet uh, him and his wife would have been over your time yet. <laughs> we've, okay. just, we've just ordered our curry. Buffet? Do you know what I mean? What's wrong with a packet of peanuts? Treat the wife. To be fair, in this game, Connor's had the chances, had a couple of chances. He's just not got, just lost position a little bit. And, uh, now, me and you, Daz, from here, I would be going for yellow off black. <laughs> into, into the centre. He's clipping his double in it. He's had a good uh, go. Yeah, he's not got that one. Well, good if, on him, if, though, if, for if, trying it. If Connor had any chance, here, here he goes. He's got to get this now. And it's not easy. Uh, Tell you what, he's oh, he's left it. He's had to hit it that hard though, does yeah. he? Across. Yeah, yeah, they said it wasn't easy. Well, that's a bit of luck yeah. where the white ball's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bit of sarcasm there, Phil. Yeah, six nil. 
So I just needed three more frames. Now is Mick. And uh, it's not going to be a, a bad day's work for him, is it? Nice 500 in his pocket. Well, it's it's only 6 nil, Daz. Yes. He's guaranteed 320, uh, 320, is it, for the runner-up? Does it will never happen again, mate? Will this? The guys will be in the club again, I've no doubt, but competing against each other. Yeah. What a day! It's a bit, a bit, a bit of a masterclass from Mick today, though, isn't it? Can't put a nice ice cold bulmus, can you? Don't want it's red hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. I'm pretty cooking in here. <laughs> it's been a long old day, but the rewards are good. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, somebody asked me today, this early, early, early on today, what time I thought I'd finish. It was about 10 o'clock, so I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be far out, am I? Fab's 8.04, everyone will man getting battered for 320 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, there's a mistake. Oh, he is human, there we go. Now. Mikkel makes a mistake. <laughs> Headline news. That, that, <laughs> now get that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. Got these two yellows to cope with down at the uh, well, over at the top left-hand corner as we're viewing. He's going to de develop them now, Phil. That's what I mean. He's got one of them out. Does it go? Does it go past the other red? I don't think he can sneak it in, can he? There's no sneaking there, does? Don't matter how sneaky you are, <laughs> that's not sneaking anywhere. You've no flair, Phil. You? This is. Oh, you what? That's probably landed a little... Um, pair of doubles to finish with, that's that pair of doubles to finish side. with. No, I think he can... He'll probably just screw this back. Yeah? Yeah. A pair of doubles to finish with? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe so. To be fair, I've no idea if he can see what he wanted to do now. I've had that many messages on my phone today, it's ridiculous. It just lists and lists of it. <laughs> That'll take me about an hour to get through these lot. He's got to get the white ball out of the way here. This is the problem with the white ball. Ooh. Well. Well. It's looking ominous. <laughs> Liam McMahon says, I've definitely had too many strong balls because I could swear I've just seen Mikkel make a mistake. Yeah, I've had yeah I thought that. I've had a few balls. I think it must be the... <laughs> We've had to start and stop the stream. I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> Fabs eight or four, so never have too many. Obviously, it was a faulty camera. <laughs> <laughs> so just a, an easy one here, Phil, to get back for this <laughs> yeah, black. An easy one, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's gonna have to play a double. Hang on a second. He's gonna have to play a double. Has he got enough dangle? I think he might do. You know, it's only uh, unless he plays the treble, but plays it off the cushion onto the yellow and in the bag. You're talking about flair. I'm sure it's a double, but I'd be going for the treble. Me too. No, that can't happen. Oh, here we go. Connor's got a chance here now, Phil. Come on. Shot. 
shot. Uh, tell you what, he's still queuing it all right. 6 0 down, pressure shot. Lovely shot. Yeah, yeah great lovely. shot there. Yeah, good good finish there from uh, Connor. Well done, Connor. So, 6 1. The comeback's on, Phil. Gets the break. <laughs> yes. Well, break and dish. I'd love to see it, does. Yeah. Let's have it. <laughs> Far mate, I've lost two mistakes in one frame. That's it. I'm going for therapy. <laughs> Liam McMahon's definitely too much. Twice in one frame. I think I need to line down. <laughs> I've looked in the manual. <laughs> There's nothing for that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> There's a couple of comments. In. Yeah. Mine clearly saying, come back, Connor. Six, my six. <laughs> well, I tell you what, he's played well today, as Connor. I'll give him credit where credit's due. He's uh, yeah, he, he, play, he beat Jordan Shepherd quite seven, convincingly. Se seven one with Jordan in, in the uh, first round with that as well. Yeah, seven one, uh, and he's played really well today. Uh, I've not seen him play before. I've watched a lot of pull me as well. Have he does. <laughs> I get some stick from him, there's a lot in here about how many people, how much I know about all these players. But uh, I like watching it. I like to keep up on it. Or forces. No backup plan, my god, we're all doomed. You might take this plant on now, you know, because at the end of the day, you don't believe in a plant till last, do you? Well, no. I wouldn't. No. I don't know about me kill, but you know what I mean? I don't, I don't fancy a plant for your last pair of balls. Mm. Well, are you going to tell him he's doing it wrong, Phil? No, I think he's doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should right. go for this red on the bulk line now. He <laughs> <laughs> hasn't got a lot of options here now. He's played for this. You see, if he'd have taken that plant when I told him. <laughs> oh, dear. He doesn't need to, Phil. He's got down below it. He can pop. Oh, He'll probably pop both what? reds and the black. <laughs> This isn't easy. Unless he doubles. If it had come down another inch or so, he'd have been all right there. He'd no, have been able to clip the one in, the yeah, bottom one first. He could possibly double the bottom, the left-hand side red. Come on, does Run it through, double it. Other red in the bottom middle, game over. You're not seeing the shots. I've seen it. I've seen what you're on about. Well, what, what else is what? he going to do? That, that, that plant's a bit dodgy, isn't it? We're mic'd up of me and Mick. <laughs> <laughs> oh so just, dear. just Thanks, Mick. in, leaves the white where the uh, red is. Thanks, Mick. <laughs> yeah, I just run it through a little bit. That's, that's cost me a beer, is that? So 7-1 and uh, a little ripple of applause there for Mick. A pleasure to watch. Well, we've had some fantastic viewing figures on the stream today. Just nearly tipping 400 at one point. And, uh, Tommy's coming over shaking his head, he can't yeah, believe it. Tommy, I don't blame him. Tommy wants to play him in the money match next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fabs, thanks very much. Same very good coming to such a laugh. We love it. <laughs> Technically, I'm, I'm as good as Mikkel. 
<laughs> I I saw the same shots. <laughs> Stays just walked past and looked at Phil and as if to say, "You what?" <laughs> I didn't say a pool, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not golf. <laughs> I bet he doesn't know computers like I do. Yeah, he <laughs> 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 <It> probably does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you've got him there. Lammy. All right, just been confirmed that Jack Whelan beat Mark Shepard in the third, fourth place playoff. Well done, Jack. Clinical stuff this does. Yeah, Mike Clearly saying the double in the last frame was was that the only ball Mix missed in three matches? He missed two. He's missed two. As Mick. In one frame. What, what today? In one frame. <laughs> in his life? He hasn't missed many a day. He has not missed many a day at all. It's great. It's ridiculous. It? It's lovely. I mean, we all know he's a good player, but he's, he's played exceptionally well today. Yeah. All, all joking aside. Even, you know, he's, even he's impressed. He was. I was talking to him. I was talking to him, actually. He said, it, you know... Andy Smith is saying, we'll be bringing my daughter Chloe over next time. You think <laughs> I am trappy. <laughs> and she plays meme pool for DMC Lane. Is we good to see it? Daz is getting a, a, a great round of applause for that again. He's I know, it's uh, ridiculous. Mick. So he's on the Mick on the Hill once more. Everybody is <laughs> loving it. <laughs> yeah, Michael, this, sorry, my mistake is awful. <laughs> yeah, correct. But all in all, it's been a fantastic day again here, and uh, really impressed with it. Glad all uh, been good to have all the decent players here. Oh, the whites away, Connor. Oh this dear, could this be is it. this is it now. I'm afraid I don't, I don't see Connor I don't, having I, another visit. I don't want it to be it. I don't want it to be it's, over. It's don't. over now. There's no way in this world that Mickey's missing these oh, yellows. Jesus, there's a commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Mick. After this, for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this well, was six nil in the rest of five. <laughs> I've just got one thanks, mate. Fa five arm wrestles to one. I am drinking really slowly. I'm, I am chatting away though as well. I am commentating. <laughs> you see, you missed that. I'd have got that one. What? <laughs> he deliberately played that. Time. Yeah, I know he did. That was a bad shot. <laughs> The only old go now does. He wouldn't play with him, would make he's a bit scared. David Aldridge, and this is why he's my coach. Well, he's, he's caught some uh, players in a decent stick, hasn't he? Uh, coach, coached Sam Hurst. I remember being up at Morley when Mick was coaching Sam. He used to come in. Uh, quiet, quiet young lad was Sam at the time. He's certainly not now, is he? He's not. He's only a little lad as well. He's massive now. Not all down to. Uh Mick Hill with that. John Towns entered a few uh, few lessons from Mick as well. I thought him in a few beers. Mike Clueless is he's having that as a miss. <laughs> oh dear, look at that. Well, look, it's look, absolutely look, perfect. Look well, how lucky I'll you got you with what. that white ball then. <laughs> I've got to say, uh, <laughs> I've known Mick a lot of years and I'm pretty impressed with how he's played today. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But we beat his Marley side in the, in the league. Daz, I have thoroughly enjoyed the day, and there it goes. Well, there you go. Well Nine done, Mick. One, Mick Hill. Absolutely stunning. Absolute stunning. Master That's all I can say. Leanne Max, shut up. <laughs> 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 Quality from Paul Campley. Yeah, and it's it been certainly absolutely was. super. What a day it's been. Unbelievable. And, uh, we're going to get the uh, so master of ceremonies uh, with the microphone now. And we're just going to get the lights on. Presentation of the trophy. Have a bit of a chat. And I'm, I'm sure Paul Buck's got some uh, great questions to ask Mick Hill. Yeah. Just a minute. Two, 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 two. 
two two. Two two. Yep, that's all right. That's good. Just a minute, let's get on to the interview camera. Across to the guys. That's the club. As is, a lot of guys have stayed behind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, speak to the players involved in the final, uh, can I just hear your appreciation for the owners and staff at 147 Sports Bar for looking after us today? It's been a fantastic day. Let's also hear it for the uh, tournament director, Mark Lamb. Well done, Mark. Looked after us brilliantly today. Great tournament, well run. And for my fellow stream team members, as well as Mark, Darren Hebron, Phil Bailey in there. Let's hear it for them as well, guys. <laughs> okay, we're just going to talk to the, uh, the players who were involved in the final. First off, Connor, come and join me. Just before we talk to Connor, let's also hear it for uh, Mark Shepherd and uh, the last played in the third and fourth place playoff, Jack Whelan. <laughs> He's only a world champion. <laughs> Jack finished third, Mark fourth, well done guys. Connor, let's have a quick word. Well done mate. Brilliant effort each in the final. Before we talk about the final, let's talk about the rest of your day. You've played some good stuff today, you must be proud of yourself. Yeah, I mean, throughout the day, up until the final, I've played really, really well. My breaks worked, I've not really missed any pots. Well, I, c I probably can't on both hands how many pots I've missed all day. And... <laughs> Yeah, playing the final, I twitch basically too many times. Gave him five, and the guy's a machine, you don't miss. So It's difficult, isn't it? Because you know that uh, as soon as you make one mistake, then you've basically lost the frame. So um, it's, it, I know it's easy to say in the commentary booth, but we kind of say play the table, don't look at who's in the opposite chair, but that's difficult when it's Mikkel there. It wasn't so much that, it was. I, d I don't really know. It might have been an element of that, however. I practice with the top players anyway, so I shouldn't really be making some mistakes like that, but it's pressure, isn't it? That's it. I just twitched. Sorry about that feedback. So it's been a fantastic day for you. Have you enjoyed playing here at 147? Yeah, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. The, table, the tables are really, really nice. All of them, in fact. There isn't one worse than the other or one better than the other. So yeah, all the tables are really nice. So yeah, it's been, good. It's been a good day. Well, we've seen you on our stream table a couple of times today, Connor, and we've really enjoyed watching you. Great talent. We'd love to have you back here. Ladies and gentlemen, you enter up, Connor Jones. Superb effort. Well done, Connor. What's the kid called who'll beat you again? Mick. Mick. Come and join me, mate. Mick Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Mick, that's just been an absolute phenomenon today. What did I just say? Phenomenon. <laughs> you've, I think you've dropped maybe uh, six or seven frames all day. You're queuing quite well. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I've, I live local. Um, I've known Colin and Gary for a long time. Um, sponsored me at one point. And they do take pride in what they do. And the tables today and the venue were second on it. was absolutely fantastic. Well said, thanks a bit. I think, you know, as a club owner yourself, is it encouraging to see independent clubs holding such big competitions with such big fields? I think it's just nice to kind of um, get appreciated as pool players. I mean, sometimes, you, you know, you kind of kick from pillar to post and you get a little bit fed up with it, a bit disheartened. Um, you know, we often talk about, you know, a, a rule set or you talk about a particular tour. At the end of the day, I've known these lads for years. I've, I've played against Jack a million times, the likes of Craig, the likes of Jordan Shepard, Kev, you know, just to name a few. We, we're, we're not on that page. We, we, we all respect each other as, as players and it's nice to get together and play against some of the lads that you don't get to, to play against because of a, a particular, uh, you know, freedom of what rules you want to play. So... Yeah, there's none of that going on with us. You know, we, 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 we all respect each other and it was, it was a great tournament today. Thanks for that, Mick. I think, meaning absolutely no disrespect whatsoever to Connor, but once you'd overcome Jack in the semi-final, did you feel like you, you, your work was done? Not really, no. Um, obviously, he's beat Sheppy early on in the day. Um, you know, talk gets around, you, you, you get to hear different things and 
you know, here one or, one or two stories of, of him beating, you know, a couple of top players at the IPA tour. So, you know, if he's capable of beating them lads, you've got to like kind of, you know, be on your game and, and, and do what you've got to do. And fortunately for me, sort of from the last 16 onwards, um, the way the draw sort of panned out, I could sort of play one match after another. I got a little bit of a rhythm going and got the break going a little bit and I think as as much as like Connor's beating himself up a little bit, you know, you, sometimes it's hard out there and sometimes that things don't go your way. Um, the same for Kev, you know, obviously played Jack, I'm expecting a really, really tough match. Obviously he's a, he's a top player, you know, he's the IPA world champion, he's there for a reason. But sometimes, you know, the balls don't go your way, you break off, you get all the scraps and, and, and your opponent breaks and he gets all like the corner you know, the nice finishes, if you like, and, you know, a couple of times he's broke off and, you know, he's got no shot, which is, like, madness, certainly, especially playing black ball where you can obviously play a ball onto a ball to get started. Um, but, yeah, it, it sometimes it just goes your way and, and, and I'm enjoying my pool at the minute. Um, I'm, I'm trying to use everything as a stepping stone to get back to the um, the, the, the Dumbuck Vegas Challenge again in, in December, so everything's a stepping stone for that and, obviously, if I play like I did today, um, I'm going to enjoy it up there, I think. <laughs> do you need any backers? <laughs> <laughs> if you do, uh, you know my number, don't you? <laughs> so I think we asked a question in the commentary booth, ladies and gentlemen. Why does Mikkel never play for money? And I think we've seen today why Mikkel never plays for money. Because nobody will play him. <laughs> I, 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 wanna, I actually want to comment on that. No, it, 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 it's not... To, 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 in, in all honesty, I, I, I'm not really sort of about the money matches. It's not really what I, what, 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 I, what I do, and you know, it, it, it's as you said. I've, I've got my own club now. You know, w with all due respect to, to any club owner, I'm not going to go and play in somebody else's club. You know, and pack it with a couple of hundred people, go down the, the cash point and gamble my own money and all that. Carry on. It's just not where I'm at. You know, I, I, if people want to play for money, that's that's fair enough. That's their prerogative, and. You know, if that's what they want to do, crack on. But, you know, in all truth, it isn't really for me. Oh, being facetious, Mick, but... Uh, <laughs> but you heard it here first. Mick Hill is not one for going down the cash point, so... Uh, but uh, he's not called a machine for nothing, and we've absolutely loved watching him on our stream. We can't wait to have him back to see his prodigious talents again. He is your tw 2015 Black Ball Open champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mick Hill. Yes, great words from Mick there, Daz. What do you reckon? Fantastic. Oh, yes, well quality. said. Well done, uh, Mr. Book, Master of Ceremonies. So we're just going <laughs> yeah. there's a selection of photographs being requested now, Daz. Yeah, final yes. thing to say, ladies and gentlemen, is thank you all for your fantastic support throughout the day. Safe journey home to you all, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Yes, and, and it's time for us to go now, but just before we go, a big thanks to everyone who's watched today, and the Excellent. support's been fantastic. The ball's been fantastic, and I think the Does for our first black remember. ball tournament, it is definitely one to remember. One to remember, Absolutely. And uh, it, it definitely won't be the last. I uh, hope to see you all again uh, soon. We've got a money match coming up next week, a couple of money matches coming up next week. Uh, so hope we'll see you all then and thanks a lot and good Th night. Thank you very much for the support guys and we'll see you next time. Cheers.